Hi everyone. So now that you just started using Realm, you're super excited because now you can link between pages. You have bidirectional links and you can see a graph that represents your second brain. In it, the ideas are surrounded by certain context. And you know what? That is super powerful. But to me, that is not the most impressive feature of Realm. I think a lot of people are overlooking what the most powerful feature in Realm is, and that to me is block references. So today I decided to make this video so that I can show you what my workflow with block references is like. Let's start. So here you can see my sidebar and I have appended my notes from a specific course and why form part two all the weeks and in each node I have linked multiple concepts that appear across the course. So for example, here's confidence intervals. Here on the page, we can see that it's empty, but this concept has been linked across different pages. For example, it's been referenced in week seven, week four, and week one of the course. Now I'm ready to start bringing all these ideas together. That is to synthesize the concept. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm going to pull the nodes I have taken and put, it, and put them in the main page. So for example, I really like these nodes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and then I'm going to copy block reference and paste it here. What you can see is that the content that was on these nodes has been duplicated on my page. Also, I can click on it and be able to tell where it's come from, what the source of this node is. For example, here we can tell it's week one of MY452. Also, we can see that the blog now shows us that it has a reference. That's not all. When I start bringing multiple blogs into my page, they're not quite going to fit with each other. So I'm going to want to rephrase these ideas so the text reads nicely. I'm going to start putting this in new, in different words. So I'm going to say confidence intervals are so and so. And if I want to keep a link to the actual source, I want to bury it behind a markdown link. So now we have a new expression of the notes while also keeping a link to the actual source. And what's cool is if I hover on top of that, a new pop-up is going to show up showing what the original source was saying. So there you go. In less than two minutes, I have shown you how you can start using block references. It's very useful to start pulling information from across your database. And because you can duplicate the same content, you can start giving new shapes to your ideas. The same concept can be ordered in different ways. Then when we start looking into the graph, the graph is pretty exciting. But in reality, it's only showing us the links between pages. Now imagine if this graph was showing the links between blocks into atomic ideas, then the power of realm is really on a completely different scale. So there you go. I hope this video has helped you and please start using your blog references. It's really fun. So next time.